still got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. CNN just revealed the only way Kamala can win the presidency. Yeah, they gave her up. So now y'all gonna know what to look for a little tonight. Check out this video. We showed you polls at the top of the program for three battleground states showing Kamala Harris up by four percentage points in each. And we should point out that they are all within the margin of error, which range actually from four to 4.5. Pause uh, the video. 4.5. Leave the video up there. This, I don't believe any of this. I actually don't. I think it's a lot closer than that. Yeah. Um, I actually think, in my humble opinion, that Trump is winning these races. But I just wanted to put in my input. Go ahead and keep it going. Five points. So they are still technically tied. That said, they do seem to have gotten under Donald Trump's skin. Whether they have or haven't certainly marked the difference between now and what the race looked like uh, before Biden-Harris gave way to Harris-Waltz. Speaking of walls, John King is at the Magic Virgin with more. John, so how has the vice president on the Democratic ticket changed the race in battleground states, or has it? Some numbers in a moment, Anderson, but first let's just start with this. I have the map this way because we are now back in what we thought at the beginning of the year, before Biden's debate, before the questions about his age, uh, that this would be the state of the race, right? Six, essentially, battleground states. After that debate, remember, the Trump campaign was saying, we're going to put New Mexico in play, we're going to put Virginia in play, we're going to put New Hampshire in play, we're going to run away with this. That was the mood after the Biden-Trump debate. Well, Biden's gone. Harris is the candidate now. So at a minimum, we have reset the map to a traditional battleground state. But remember, after those last debates, it was Trump could win here, Trump could win here, and Trump could win here. Not only did the polls show that, and I'll bring them up, Anderson, but we talked about that after all of my travels into those states. So let's just look a little May and now. Trump ahead in Pennsylvania, you're exactly right. This is no clear leader statistically within the margin of error, but Trump had momentum. This Michigan poll, New York Times, Siena had Biden ahead slightly. I could tell you from my travels, Trump had momentum there as well. And Wisconsin, tighter, but Trump with momentum. The question is, don't believe any one poll. Which way is the arrow pointing? Who has the momentum? Well, look at this in August now. Harris up a little bit within the margin of error, but in Pennsylvania, up a little bit more in Michigan, up a little bit more in Wisconsin. So what does that mean? That means... If the election were tomorrow and the energy and momentum you see out there right now played out, you would get that. And even if Harris lost Georgia, Nevada and Arizona, she could get to 270 electoral votes. So those three states, the blue wall, make all the difference in the Democratic calculation. If she is strong in these, it opens up the possibilities across the Sun Belt. John, let me just ask you, I mean, when polling says that, you know, the, the mar that margin of error, though, in those states seemed really big, aren't, do, do those polls then matter? I mean, isn't it essentially still then a toss up between uh, them? It, it is a very competitive race. Uh, we cannot say that enough. A very competitive race. And we I keep that video up there. Keep that up there. So that's the only, I think, in my humble opinion, that's the only way Kamala can win. She's got to take Pennsylvania and those, uh, those north, northwestern states up there. Yeah. I'm uh, election night, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. Michigan. If if Trump wins Pennsylvania, it's a good sign. That's a great sign because Trump's going to take Georgia. He's going to take Arizona and Nevada. But, yeah. yeah. So Pennsylvania is the key. That's going to decide the election right there is Pennsylvania. That's, if Kamala wins Pennsylvania, yeah, we in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to hang myself. Because so, keep, keep the map up there. <laughs> oh, because... I'm not really feeling too good about Wisconsin and Michigan. Yeah. Even though they're within the, uh, the uh, what they call it, the era? Margin of error. You Margin of error, yeah. Dummy. Right? Pennsylvania is the key. Yeah. That's the state I'm watching. Yeah. Election night, Pennsylvania. Keep your eyes on it. Yeah. But honestly, I think Virginia is in play. Yeah. Yeah, I think Virginia's going to go red. Yeah, I think Virginia is in play. This time around, because of what uh, the governor election up in New York, mm -hmm. that was closer than a lot of people suspected in Virginia. Virginia's in play, I'm telling yeah. you. Hey, look at Maine. Maine, red, all them white people. Man, I wish the whole country's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish every state uh, was like Maine. But another thing, those other two states, Wisconsin, Michigan, yeah. I'm thinking Trump's going to get one of those two states. Think, I, I'm thinking think he's going to take Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. And he's get one of those states, Wisconsin. Or Michigan. Yeah. I think he's going to take Virginia, and I know he's going to get Georgia. Yeah. Well, Virginia's up in there. That's going to be hella close. That's 50-50. Yeah. But I'm telling you, Pennsylvania's the key, but I think uh, Wisconsin is in play. I think Virginia is in play. It might Trump might run away with this, but this election is so close, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's amazing how close this race is going to be. She's been in office for almost four years with Joe Biden, has well, did absolutely nothing at the border. But why is these races are so close? I'll tell you why. I've been doing my research. This is what they're doing. See, Republicans focus on principle. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> it was great, but we ain't winning no popular vote anytime soon. This is how Democrats win. Majority of the population in this country, 53% is women. Yeah. That's why they uh, uh, use that slogan, empowering women. Right. Don't control their bodies. Yeah. And then you got these minorities. Mm -hmm. They use our differences for votes. Yeah. Hey, I've been looking at a bunch of ads, and a majority of the ads I've saw of Kamala about taking women's rights away, all has been false. Say it. The day one, Trump is going to do an abortion ban. Yeah, no, that's to get women to vote for that. Yeah, but women because they know that's the biggest part of the electorate is actually women. Yeah, women. Women decide who's going to be our next president every election. Like it should be a red wave uh, in Congress and in Senate. Yeah, but no, y'all want to like ban it. Yeah, in certain states, and I that you, that's just dumb. Yeah, I tell even you, though I think it's evil. Yeah, yeah, but I tell you what, if Trump wins, the, if he's the next president, if what they say comes to light, it comes true. Trump signs a nationwide uh, that's abortion ban. Yeah, that's yeah, un that's uncomfortable. You would, I'm telling you right now, if Trump does that, a nationwide uh, abortion ban, which I very seriously doubt he He's would not do, do that. but maybe I'm biased. I just don't see it. Maybe they are telling the truth. But if Trump does that, sign a, a nationwide abortion ban, win. yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's gonna be the end of the Republican Party. Yep, you ain't gonna win another election. I, I hope, I hope Republican, I hope y'all not that stupid. <laughs> Do a nationwide abortion ban. There will never be another. It will never be another Republican president in yeah. the United States. You will kill us. That will kill the G GOP. Yeah, do that dumb man. Um, like I'm, I'm actually pro life, but yeah, but I'm not going to tell some other. I look at it this way: I'm pro life. I teach my kids to be pro life. But when it comes to a liberal or progressive kid, I don't mind. Because as our numbers grow, they get smaller. That's diabolical. Survival of the hey, fittest. Kevin, that's diabolical. No, survival of the fittest. Yeah, but I'm telling you right now, Pennsylvania is the key. Now, if you notice that we lose Georgia or Nevada, uh, Nevada or Arizona, mm -hmm. he got to get Wisconsin. Wisconsin and yeah. Michigan and Pennsylvania. And I think uh, the door's closed. The door's going to close. Yeah. Unless he gets Virginia. The key is Pennsylvania. Yeah. That's the, if Kamala grabs Pennsylvania. Yeah. Start, that's a sign that she's going to take Michigan. Start bashing your head against a, <laughs> start bashing your head against <laughs> wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's because the reason why Democrats are in elections yeah. is because black people and women. Yeah. Republicans stand on principle, yeah, and God and prayer. They ain't gonna. You ain't. You ain't. No. No. That's not gonna cut it. Show's over. <laughs>